What is going on guys? Welcome yourselves back to another video. So today, uh, you can see my face. Normally I record my podcast over there. For those of you who don't know, I do my I do a podcast every single Thursday slash Friday. But today, gonna be different because it's a full album review and I thought, why not do it a little more professional? Why not do it a little more uh, awesome? But hey, today we're gonna be reviewing, um, so, I mean kind of reacting, but mostly reviewing to Kanye's new album, Jesus is King. And I mean, without further ado, like I said, we do song, I, I do song reviews with my friend Lucas on the InSync podcast every single Thursday, so check that out. So the first song is Every Hour, which is basically taken from the Sunday service kind of things Kanye did, and they made it into a studio recorded song. Um, basically what they're saying, honestly, is kind of like a lot of Christian songs, but the tempo and how they're kind of saying it fast is really good. I mean, I love the instrumental. Um, it, it's straight out of like a black person church. No racism is meant by that. But it's, that's really what it's out, straight out of a gospel church. And it's good to start it off because it kind of gives the the feel of the album. Now, the next track, Sala. Now, this track, I absolutely love. Probably my second favorite on the album. It's super cinematic. The opening is amazing. I like how he's relating everything he's talking to to Bible verses like John something, uh, Ephesians something. I think he's talking about the gunshots when it was with, with what he's talking about. It's super great. Whenever people use gunshots, and their music, it kind of makes whatever they said before or after, or whatever they're saying when it goes pew, pew, or pew, 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 makes that harder. It makes it make more sense. It, it it gives it a lot more of an effect rather than if there wasn't to be gunshots. I mean, the ending on Sala is interesting. It's um, it I I'm I don't know how to feel about it with the, the vocal chops and all of that, but I mean I'm here for it. It is it is pretty cool. And I absolutely love the Hallelujah part. That part just was amazing. Um, and okay, so going on, going on, right? Next song, Follow God. Now, I, I totally love what he's talking about this. His flow on this is really, really good and his rhyme scheme. Although he repeats it a couple times, it's kind of nice to have a song where the chorus isn't really um, like a choir, right? It's just a little bit different. Uh, the distorted kick, that really, I cannot wait to play it on my sound system. I listened to this whole album twice on headphones. Sound system is coming up next. Um, and I like how he's kind of talking about his dad and maybe trying to tell his dad about Christianity. Closed on Sunday. This this one has like a really dark, kind of spooky vibe to it, but then what he's talking about is not like that really at all. Um, I like the Chick-fil-A reference. It has like a really cool bass line as well, which I absolutely like. I'm a sucker for bass lines and this one was done really well. And like another thing is, is like, his voice could have sounded like a little different. Like, I'm not as sure exactly how it could have sounded different, but I don't know. I just feel like it could have sounded a little, a little better to fit the song. I don't know. The guitar part too is like is really good. And the auto-tune part is kind of kind of cool, kind of experimental. I kind of I kind of like it. That's kind of what this whole album is. You're either gonna, I was, I was gonna say, you're either gonna love it or hate it, but a lot of these songs I'm either loving or thinking they're interesting. On God, this has a really good instrumental. Um, it's pretty good. I don't absolutely like love, love, love this song, but it's pretty good. Um, the, what he was talking about, obviously, is good, but kind of how he's relating it to the On God part, and it's just eh, I didn't. It was it was alright. Um, but I really love the part where he's like, back when I f thought Job was Job or whatever, or you know, I have it written down here. When I thought the Book of Job was a job. Genius lyric right there. Everything we need with a uh, tie dollar sign and ant. I forget his last name. Um, I'm a big sucker for these stacks on stacks on stacks vocals, and a lot of people singing the same chorus and it's all mixed together really well. But I don't think this was mixed together really well. Nothing wrong with it, but I haven't even written down. I wrote all of this down. Um. The mix sounds good, but it's almost a little too trebly. I feel like there could have been a little more bass and a little less pitchiness on the on the chorus when they all go together. Um, they all sound good together, but that also goes to say that I would have liked it. I would have liked it if Ty uh, if Ty Dollar Sign not Ty, oh my gosh, if Ty Dollar Sign uh, had his own verse, would have been really cool because it, it was a short song to begin with. Um, the lyrics to the chorus I'd like a lot, but like I said, the mix was not terrible, and I'll probably still listen to this song like actually a decent amount, to be honest, because it's still a great song, um, but it could have used um, a little work. Now, obviously, they are probably going for that certain style, and 
in that case, they achieved it. But I guess I just wasn't a huge fan of what they did, um, per se. And then water. Same uh, ant guy. Ant's voice was beautiful in this. You couldn't really totally take out whose voice is who, uh, like 100% on, um, on everything we need. It just sounded good overall. Yeah, but Ant's voice, really, really good. But I thought that the chlorine part when he's like, clean us, chlorine or something, uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know. Um, another thing, the mix on everything we need is really, really, really good. Maybe too many reels, but it, it's a good mix. It's a good mix. Um, definitely better than the uh, um, than uh, everything we need mix. Um, and it's funny, Kanye said that this album got it delayed by like a couple hours because they were fixing the mix on water and everything we need. They fixed it correctly on the water. Um, also, the message is a it's a little weird, but I'm behind it. What they're trying to say isn't weird, but how they say it is like. Um, the outlets behind Kanye's verses are awesome, and, uh, the, oh, the choir behind, yeah, the choir behind Ant singing the chorus is really, really, um, awesome as well. God is, uh, I love this sample. The piano is crisp. Kanye's voice sounds a little weird over the chorus, and sometimes the message is a little weird, but I like it as well. But then we get into the part where Kanye is saying all of these different things, God is, you are right. You are right on that, and I love that part. Because what he does is he goes, God is this, this, that, 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 this, this, that, that, that. Then it's kind of like all in your mind. It's like, ah. But then he slows it down. He lets you think about it. He gives the song time to breathe. The song outros nicely on a clean beat, and it lets you think about everything he said. Really, really, really uh, cool tactic there. Hands on. The voice manipulation on Fred's voice is so cool. It reminds me kind of of Zed. And I absolutely love that. Just the minimalistic sounds during Kanye's verse is cool as well. And it's also cool how at different points in the song, there's distortion on Kanye's voice, which I don't hear a lot, but I've heard before, and I, I really, really like that as well. And then he says three times how Christians would judge him first for making this song. And you know what, buddy? You're right. He's kind of calling out the hypocrisy that some, not all, but some Christians have. And and then the end. Oh, not don't. I, I should not forget to mention that the ending is really, really cool too. How it kind of the instrumentals and all of that. And um, when Fred says, "If uh, if I pray his if I praise his name, you ask what I'm smoking." That was a super cool line too. Uh, super cool line as well. Not too, but the crap. I assume uh, by hands on. It means putting your hands on someone while praying. So hands on while praying. Um, like I said, reminds me of Zed Production. Really good song. Um, this is probably another one of my favorite songs. Now this last one, or second to last, Use This Gospel. Again, this is probably my favorite song. Kanye humming at the start kind of sounds weird. But once they add all the production in it, again, sounds like Zed Production. It makes a lot more sense. And then it sounds really, really, really amazing. The rest of his verse is beautiful. I thought Kendrick, uh, Kenny sounded kind of like Kendrick at first. Mm -hmm. Split second, I thought it was Kendrick. I knew it wasn't, but I thought it was. You know, um, I, I, I love his verse. I'm as crooked as Vegas. That was great as well. Um, I love the distortion in the vocals, um, in the background. Uh, Kenny's flutes. I know it's not a flute. I, Kenny's solo, instrumental solo is so unexpected but it's really really cool and i absolutely love it and then boom they add a kick into the end and with the vocals they kind of make it like a trap rhythm which was super cool and excuse me they add distortion to the vocals at the end um and so it's making it less clear making it a little more you know grimy a little more gringy super cool as well last song jesus is lord um a different take on generic christian lyrics it's a slow song. They could have ended on Use This Gospel, 100%. But it's a really good ending. I wouldn't say it's a really good song, because it's so short. It's a good interlude, it's a good ending. Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Is this like, is this album, um, is it kind of 
blasphemy in God's name? Like, what? How do I? How would I? How do I think Christians are gonna feel about this? Um. Sonically, my review is on sonically, and you know, beat wise, choice wise, and lyrically. But content wise, thematically, um, I mean, look, this is this is really experimental for the rap genre, for the R&B genre, and for the Christian genre. For an artist like him to be doing this, um, I think it's. I think personally, I don't think it's it's blasphemous or or hip hop. I'm using big words here. I don't think it's bad for the Christian faith. I don't think it's it's rude. I think it's really good. I think some of the songs were a little. The lyrics were a little like okay, kind of awkward, like. That's kind of, it kind of makes a Christian cringe to hear it said that way. But some were really good, like um, like God is. That was really good. Water went about it a little bit of a weird way. On God, kinda, and sorta, so did close on Sunday. But follow God did it well. Sala did it well. Every hour did it well. And Jesus is Lord did it did it well. Um, yeah, it, it did not seem blasphemous. I. I, the thing is, is, I was talking to my dad about this. Right? I don't know 100 percent like if um, if Kanye is like a strong shot. I'm not saying he's faking it, but I'm just saying I don't know. Like I don't know. Um, but I mean, no. I think I think he could have gone deeper, but he also didn't do it so surface level that it was just fake. Just fake. But sonically, he's making these Christian and God-loving gospel songs sound really, really amazing, and I really like that. Um, and putting into rap, he definitely wasn't cringy for rap. Some of the things, in some of the ways he said some things might be cringy as a Christian, but for rap, this is not cringy, in my opinion. He did pretty well with that. And all of the uh, features were really good, too. Really good, too. And it's nice to hear some rap that might warm my like it might not when I first listen to it be like like, like it might not be for me um but it's you're hearing from a rap artist and I know Kanye is not just rap artist but you're hearing from a rap artist rap artist a Christian gospel soundtrack that is not too bad not too cringy not amazing but actually I don't know because I do really like this album so I had to move my camera. This is like the fifth time because my battery keeps dying. But anyways, I feel like he added different flavors to a Christian song that most people wouldn't and different flavors to a rap song that most people wouldn't. An R&B song, it's a, this big hybrid, which came off way better than I thought it would. And, you know, hybrids are hard, right? Hybrids are hard because you're taking two things people love, you're putting them together. Christians are going to hate this. Rap fans are gonna hate, Kanye fans are probably not gonna like that. A lot of people are just gonna hate this. They are. Because it isn't normal rap, and because it isn't normal Christian music, but I like the mix. Um, I like the mix, so.